Number six, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. Which of these is X, the distance from point B to point C? Well, for starters here, we have two overlapping triangles. So I believe to make this a little bit easier on ourselves, we can go ahead and redraw this. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw my small triangle and my large triangle. And then I'm just going to copy down the letters. So here I have A, D, and E. And they gave me side lengths of 20 and 30. And here we have A, C, and B. And here they gave me a side length of X, and they gave me 80 for just this piece. And I need to know the whole side length of AC. So 80 is just EC, so I have to add AE side length of 20. So 20 plus 80, well, that's 100. So again, now I'm looking for the value of x, which is the distance from point B to C. So here I'm looking for this side length here. So what I can do is, again, I can set up um, a box and tail. So if I set up my box and tail, we have, a, we have our base and we have our height. And to keep it a bit more organized, I always suggest to my students to go ahead and label um, the triangles or whatever shape you're doing. So here I would do small and here I would do big because I have a big triangle, small triangle. So now let's go ahead and start. So I want to look at my small base. So I'm going to go to my small shape and my base here is 20. Then I want to look at my small height. So again, I'm looking at the small triangle and its height is 30. Okay, so now I want to look at my big base and my big base is 100. And what I'm looking for is my big height, which is x. So now, again, all I have to do is cross, multiply, and divide. So 30 times 100, if you don't know that off the top of your head, remember, you can always use your calculator. So 30 times 100 is 3,000. So here we have 3,000, and we want to divide that by 20. So 3,000 divided by 20 will give us our answer. So 3,000 divided by 20, we get 150. So if 150 is our answer, here A is going to be our answer.